Welcome back, everybody, to Hyperborea. Uh, kind of in between episodes here, I was trying to get back to uh, where I had died over there at the hands of the weird man-eater thing, and I hopped, I went into this pyramid, I hopped in, and it did a cutscene and gave me this crossbow. So, now that you see that I suddenly have a crossbow, uh, <laughs> uh, that would be why. Anyways, moving on. So, I, you know, I really wanted to say that this map is just... Oh, it's got multi-shot. Come on. There we go. So I, I wanted to say, you know, thank you for all the support on the first episode. And I'm really having a, a very good time with this. Oh, shit. I looked at it. I looked at it. Crap. I looked at the thing. I looked at it. That's on me. I don't know where to go that's going to be safe. definitely in trouble now. Is there anything that's too high here that I can go hide in? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Uh... I just need to avoid that freaking room, apparently. Damn! That is actually kind of brutal. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how to fight that thing. And now I have to refight through most everything that I had fought through to get to this point. Damn it! Just avoid the man-eater room. With, with my with my luck, the checkpoint was actually just beyond that room, and if I would just have ignored the man-eater, or the man-snatch, or whatever the hell the thing's supposed to be, I would have been fine. But that's okay. You know, killing most of these enemies is, is fairly trivial right now. I'm going to be regretting those words here on the next boss fight, but for the most part, this is all... Except this guy. The weird imp things are kind of a pain. So how do I... Why would it let me throw that earlier? Whatever, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's grand. We're here, we're having a great time. Everything's wonderful. So anyways. So yeah, I... I'm really enjoying this map, and I, I, as I was making my thumbnail yesterday, I was really thinking, like, the, the whole point of this map is discovering, discovering, like, nameless things, like, comprehending the, you know, comprehending the, back off, little pig thing, is, uh, like, comprehending the unknown, things of that nature. And in that regard, it's like, I'm getting a very, like, H.P. Lovecraft, eldritch horror theme from this, uh... That don't look right. Of course, here's the checkpoint. Or... Not. That's a turret. Just run. Just run. Don't engage. Everything is fine. We are calm. We are cool. We are collective. We are trying to figure out the best way to... Nailed it. Looks like there's a lot of stuff up there. Oh, look at that. 
at that. A hidden stash. Let's grab the hidden stash. Nope, whiffed it. That's fine, though. I'm willing to grab a hidden stash here. So I really... The things I like about this map so far is it's... That it's breaking my poor ankles and kneecaps and things of that nature. But I really like just how strange this map is. And I also like the... Uh, a lot of thought and work definitely went into this map. I think if you go to, like, the... Uh, the 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 page of this map, you know, something like two years of work went into making vibrant snaps. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. The uh, like the plugins and things that this map uses or the server uses are, are very. It's all very. Very impressive so far. Just trying to get out of the way, firing line of that um, damn turret over there. But, uh, you know, I've been kind of contemplating a, a thing for the last couple of... A topic for the last couple of months here. I don't know if I want to turn this topic into a video or not, but... You know, at what point can vanilla Minecraft not offer anything new? And we have, and we as. This is your only warning, trespasser. End your pursuit and return whence you've come. This cruel and frigid land has nothing to offer you but misery. Should I meet again, no, I will kill you. I doubt that very highly. But I was, um, where was I? I was contemplating a topic, you know. Has vanilla Minecraft reached its... Uh, reached the end of what it can offer as far as mechanics and things go? And I was starting to think maybe, but after playing this map, no. We can do a lot with plugins and things like that before we start turning to... Uh... Oh, nice. Necrotic wound. Use the find enemies' weaknesses. What do I do? Do I just like oh weakness projectiles? spawn point anchor thing. The Islands of Lang. We must be getting close to where we... Wait, that's a despawn anchor. Hello? What's your shtick? Weakness projectiles. Projectiles are his weakness. I, however, think projectiles are my weakness. Whoa! That's actually doing an incredible amount of damage. Enemy is stunned. Interesting. Where was I? Right, so anyways, I was contemplating whether adventure maps had sort of reached their end. Like, have we explored, are we reaching the limit of what vanilla Minecraft can offer? Ooh, hello! As far as, like, new and exciting mechanics can go. And I was starting to be on the fence about it. I've played a lot of great maps that have definitely pushed vanilla Minecraft to its to its limit. You know, I, I've been doing this a hot second. You know that I know what I'm talking about. You know, I... I... Uh, anyways, you know, and 
I've been th and thinking about it, like, it's been one of those questions that I've been thinking about late at night. And I think... I think there are certain things that... Uh, that modded Minecraft can offer vanilla Minecraft, such as... Uh, new... New items to build with, or new look... or Yeah, new, just new blocks to build with. So, uh... I can't think of what the map was, but it was basically a heavily modded Minecraft map. And the thing that I liked most about it was, A, that the mobs all had different animations, just to add to the weirdness factor of them, and B, that there was just new blocks to build with. And I thought that was really, really cool, that there's just all these new blocks and all these new builds that can comp that can be built. So I think from, like, adding new mechanics standpoint, we might not have to turn to modded yet, but if... Uh, if you're watching, if you build Minecraft maps and you're kind of at your wit's end with uh, the limited pool of blocks at, that you have to work with and, you know, uh, oh, what is it? And, uh, you know, texture packs aren't doing it for you? Hey, maybe going to modded for extra blocks is going to be your thing. I don't know. But it's, you know, just something that I've been sort of contemplating over the, the last couple of, the last couple of months. And maybe this right here is the whole discussion that I needed to have on the subject is, you know, hey, from a vanilla, hey, there's a lot of cool stuff that modded can add, but I still think that vanilla Minecraft has a lot yet that we can explore. But as far as for like adding new mechanics and things like that, like literally less than an hour ago, somebody in the Discord linked me a horror map that somebody in my Discord linked me a horror map where you're using sights and sounds to either determine if you want to run away from the monster or not. It's a horror map. Don't know if I'll play it or not, but hey, somebody linked that to me, and I think that's really cool, because I've never seen, you know, or I've never heard of lights or sounds being used in that particular way. And why wouldn't we use lights and sounds in that particular way, you know? But again, have we reached the end of, you know, what vanilla blocks can offer us as far as building materials go? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not the builder type, but as far as like adding new mechanics and using those mechanics in new and exciting ways in the vanilla, like using the command blocks and things like that in the... What the hell? Did he like teleport behind me and teleport out of the world? Cool, what's this? Armor item. Plus six max health, plus five armor. I think I'll stick with... Oh, let's see here. This plus plus three. That's a big health pool. Well, I guess I win. Huh. Interesting boss fights. Finally. The respawn anchor. Thank you. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Just kind of standing there. Floating there. Menacingly. Well, anyways. Off I go. Oh, man. I thought maybe I will make a video on that on that topic, because it intrigues me, or that, that thought kind of... Oh... Nope. Dude's just gonna stare at me. Yep. Creepy Eldritch Horror guy is just gonna stare at me. Wait. Achievement get boink? Bonk a shulker on the head. Huh. guy friendly. Well, I don't think I can deal damage with him, so for the time being, I have cautiously, I am cautiously declaring him friend. Hello. Can we be friends? No, I don't think we can be friends. Bummer. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Hmm. 
very just broken world. I'm I'm very excited to get into more of the uh, Harbringer. What's your shtick? Weakness. A maiden, a maddened knight of crimson. Oh, cool. Probably have the hearts to just face tank this guy. Umbral kill. Electric claymore. Weapon item. A blunt sword with electrical current. Oh, interesting. Five melee damage plus. Oh, okay. So let's say. So it's a boss killer. Hit armored enemies to execute a critical hit. That stuns them. Very interesting. Ooh. Mechanics. Electric Claymore can stun enemies wearing metal armor. Enemies cannot be stunned again until after their... Okay, so... It's kind of like a boss killer weapon. Sort of. Oh no. Where am I supposed to go? I get here I don't understand oh it's like a prismarine dragon almost aha get over here I guess oh, stop running stop going down there thank you I'm here I wish to kill you saying I wish to kill you probably isn't uh that's yeah, probably not the best idea to tell somebody. Who are you? I can't get a good enough look at your name. So for the time being, I'm just going to ignore you. Ooh. Hello? I still heal? That did like nothing to him. The children of Khan! Ooh! Interesting. Very interesting. I'm meeting all kinds of new and exciting people and kicking their butts. Yeah, but I don't want to kick their butts anymore. I just want to... Let's just get out of here. How does that sound? That sounds good. Ow. Be more careful. I was, I was thinking here that... Uh, if I killed with this weapon, I heal the Prismarine Sword. But if I killed with this weapon, yeah, I'm going to do a lot of damage, but I'm not going to heal. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Drifting Arena. Are you? What is that thing? Why is it following me? don't like that I'm being followed, you know? It's a little uncomfortable. I assume I'm not going to like going in this big scary building. Is there a way around the big scary building? 
No, there's not. That's unfortunate. Damn. I don't enjoy the big scary building. But it looks like I gotta go through the big scary building. Hmm. This isn't a horror map, right? I don't think so. I'm probably gonna be okay-ish. Oh. They're arming me up with ammo. I don't like that they're arming me up with ammo. It's just so Ooh, hello. What's your shit? Ooh, hello. Weakness electricity, weakness projectiles. Yeah, I'm dead to this boss. Unless... Nailed it. With like one shot left to go, darn it. I was so close. This close. Uh well anyways. Um Huh. That's a bummer. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. Again, love this map. Gonna keep going. I will probably just like keep. Who are you? Uh anyways, uh thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.